So we are going to see distribution of sample means from a non-normal population here. And what we are doing is that we just took chi-square distribution, uh, which here, of course, is not normal. And uh, the degrees of freedom of this distribution, in, we are taking it from degrees 4. So the mean is how much? 4. And the variance, which is uh, sigma square, is going to be 4 times 2, that is 8. All right. So let's use Minitab to get random samples from a chi-square distribution like this. So what we are going to do is, first we are going to take simple random samples of size, uh, let's just pick size uh, 6, that is each sample will have uh, 6 values. All right. And see how the distribution looks like. So here is the software mini tab and again this is the worksheet where the data will be stored and uh, this is the menu. Let me just give you an expanded view here. So here we are going to be using mostly these three features that is calc and stat for different calculations and then this is graph. All right. So when I click on them, you will realize what I am choosing to work with. So remember that we had decided to check out samples of size 6 from a chi-square distribution of degrees of freedom 4. So what we can do is go to calc. Then we will ask it to generate some random data for us. And here is a chi-square. So we are asking it to do that and number of uh, rows to generate. So each row will have a sample. So let's just generate 2000 samples. And if I ask it to store them in these six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six, every row here will show us a sample of size. How much? Sample of size six. And our degrees of freedom is four. I don't know how well this is visible to you, but Okay, so here are our samples. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to obtain the sample means here. Okay, so these are the sample means. And you know, one way to do that would be this. Let's just go to calc again and say that we want the uh, row statistics. Okay, and here we want the mean and who are the input variables we want uh, you know our samples are sitting in c1 through c6 so i'm asking it to you know just add them add them all and here you can see c7 i have designated for the means of the samples so here are all the means now well let's just take a look at an easy way of looking at uh, these uh, at a distribution of this so let's look at a histogram and histogram of sample means. So let me just reduce this so that we can see the histogram. So here is a histogram. All right. And uh, you can see that this histogram is still is slightly skewed to the right. And uh, that will change as we increase the sample size. So for example, let's just take a new worksheet. So now here we are still sampling from chi-square distribution, but just take, let's take a larger sample size. Say let's go to a sample size of 40 and keep the degrees of freedom of this as the same. Okay. So now we are going to do what? We are going to just obtain the random data or, or random data from a chi-square distribution. Let's keep it just be happy with just 2000 samples and now our sample size is how much 40 okay so once we do that here we have uh, what happens now is as you can see every row is going to show us a sample of size how much 40 and we have 2000 such samples so we will go again and obtain the row mean of what all the rows from c1 through c40 and put them in c41 so here we have what the uh, sample means of samples of size 
40 and now if we look at a graph okay let me just go for a histogram okay here we go all right and so we want this and say okay and let's just get this guy down here the our okay and you can see it's much more normal looking now as we increased our sample size to, to 40 so larger the sample size is much more the distribution of sample means will tend towards a normal distribution all right